guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to play my version of Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. I had a request by somebody to try a tutorial on this piece. Um, as you can see, there is music for this as well. If you prefer to learn that way, there will be a link to this sheet music in the description section. And you'll also see a link to a sample of me playing this song on my YouTube channel. So let's get started. This song is in 4-4 time, meaning that there are four beats in each measure. It is also in the key of F, which means that we are gonna have a B flat. So our B flat is going to be our only black key that we need to worry about throughout the entire piece. Very consistent, doesn't change in this song. Um, but every time that we have a B, it will always be flat. And that's about as technical as you're gonna see me get throughout this whole thing. So we're going to start with the left hand because it follows a very consistent pattern almost through the entire song uh, there with only a couple variances which we will address as we get to them but once you learn this pattern um, you pretty much know what the left hand is doing and you've already learned half the piece then it's just a matter of adding in your right hand with the melody so this pattern is going to look like this f e d D. So four counts for each F, C, F, C, E, C, E, C, D, A, D, A, D, A, E, F. So on that last D, because we're on D for two measures, we finish it up D, A, E, F most of the time. So again, F, C, F, C, E, C, E, C, D, A, D, A, D, A, E, F. So I would just practice doing that pattern over and over until your hand is kind of used to that flow and then um, adding in the right hand will become uh, a little bit easier because your left hand is already going to kind of know what to do. So. We're going to start with the introduction. The way I play the introduction is in the bass clef on the right hand as well. And it's going to be A, A, G, A, G, F, F, E, F. A, A, G, F, E, D. So add it together with the left hand, it'll sound like this. that'll go right into the verse but before we get there I'm gonna go back a little bit on the introduction you may notice I already did a few variances on that left hand pattern from what I had showed you before um, part of the reason for that is because I'm playing right in this area with my right hand as well so there's just not space to do that full pattern so the variances look like this Instead of coming up to the E, F on that D chord, I just go D, A, D, E because the right hand is right here and there's just not space to do it otherwise. And then here, instead of going E, C, E, C, I just go E, C and hold it on the C for the last three counts of that measure. And again, that's just because my right hand is playing right here already, so we don't need to double up on everything. So again, the introduction slowly looks like this. Okay, so when we're playing the F, that last note, of our D chord, we're gonna do what would be like a pickup measure of beginning our verse on the right hand. E, uh, A, G, or played with some harmony, it's gonna be an F and an A. So it'll sound like this. And then 
we go right back to our F pattern, and on the right hand, we're going to have F and A. So F and A together, and then F, A separate. And then when the left hand moves down to E, we're going to do E and G. So E, G, F, A, E, G. And then the left hand moves down to D, and we're doing D and F on the right hand. hand moves to the E this time, we go up to a G and a B. So G, B, F, A, E, G, and then down to a D and an F, and the left hand on the D. And then that same pickup on the last F, we're doing our eighth note. Okay, and then, so I'm going to play that section again all together so you can hear how it sounds. get to that section, the D, A, E, F, I play through with the right hand as well, E, F, F, G. So it's F on the left, F and A on the right, E, G, E in the left. So again, I'll do the full verse up to that section, because after that, we transition into the chorus. Second time through on our D, we're going to start in on the right hand with the chorus on the second beat of that measure. So on the A, we play C, C, A. Okay, and this leads us right into our chorus, which is a beautiful part of the song. C, C, A, A, C, together, C, A, separate, G, C, together, up to the D, F, A. And then play it with the left hand, it sounds like this. time on the left hand instead of playing all the way through on that second D I just hold the D for two counts A for two counts and then again F on the left A and C on the right so this time I'm using some dotted quarter notes just for the variance in the timing a little bit but it's C A together, C, A separate, 
G C together. D C F A. Like that. Played together, it sounds like this. Okay, so the same as we're coming up on the D chord on the A F E F, we're playing C C A. the same except now the left hand is going to be playing an octave higher. And this time we hold that D for the whole four counts of that measure. F, G, and the timing with the dotted quarter notes. And with the left hand, it sounds like this. One, two, three. Okay, so at the end of the chorus, there's kind of this little interlude. A, E, F, A. So we're on our F, but this time we're not going to play all four beats of that measure. We're going to play F, C, F, and hold the top F for two counts. G, F, G. And we're playing E, C, E, holding the E for two counts. F, E. Again, sounds like this. And then we're right back in to the verse, um, literally a full repeat of everything that we just did, the verse through the chorus. So the second time through on the chorus, after we play this first interlude, an octave and play almost the same thing, slight variance. So A, G, F, A, up to the B flat. So B flat, A, G, F, E, D. But the left hand is doing the exact same thing still. So I'm gonna play from that interlude, skipping the repeat um, as though this is our second time through already. area or what you might call the guitar solo if we were playing on a different instrument. I keep it pretty simple um, and this is the one place where the left hand pattern does change slightly but you're not playing anything new you're just playing in a slightly different order. It's gonna look like this F C F C E C E C back up to the F F C F C E C E C D, A, D, E, F, E, D, A, twice. D, A, D, E, F, E, D, A. So like this. F, E, D. So G and B, 
F and A twice E and G. together again. Okay, from there we move back straight back into the last verse, which is going to be very much like the first time through that we played the verses, so I won't go too slowly on that one. So it's easiest for me if I start with fingers one and two on the F and the A, because then all you have to do is add in the pinky to reach the octave. Your hand is going to stay in the same position all the way down. So it's going to look like of this uh, chorus. It's a repeat of what we've been doing already. up there so I will repeat it lower so you can just see it one more time again. off the song. A, G, F, A, and F in the left hand. G, F, G, E in the left hand. F, E, D in both hands. Hold that D for all four counts and move up to the octave higher for the very last part. Slowing down at 
the end there to finish off the song. I'll play that last, both interludes for you one more time. Congratulations, you've learned the whole song, and uh, hopefully you have now learned how to play Simple Man and enjoy playing it as much as I do. Uh, please check out my other tutorials and cover arrangements, as well as some original compositions that I have on my channel. Hope you enjoy listening. Thank you.